This is a poem by Thomas Trayern titled Shadows in the Water. In unexperienced infancy, many a sweet mistake doth lie. Mistake, though false, intending true, a seeming somewhat more than view, that doth instruct the mind in things that lie behind, and many secrets to us show, which afterwards we come to know. Thus did I by the water's brink another world beneath me think, and while the lofty, spacious skies reversed there, abused mine eyes, I fancied other feet came mine to touch or meet, as by some puddle I did play, another world within it lay. Beneath the water people drowned, yet with another heaven crowned, in spacious regions seemed to go, as freely moving to and fro. In bright and open space, I saw their very face, eyes, hands, and feet they had like mine, another sun did with them shine. Twas strange that people there should walk, and yet I could not hear them talk, that through a little watery chink, which one dry ox or horse might drink, we other worlds should see, yet not admitted be, and other confines there behold of light and darkness heat and cold. I called them oft, but called in vain, no speeches we could entertain. Yet did I there expect to find some other world to please my mind. I plainly saw by these a new antipodes, whom, though they were so plainly seen, a film kept off that stood between. By walking men's reversed feet, I chanced another world to meet, though it did not to view exceed a phantom, tis a world indeed, where skies beneath us shine, and earth by art divine, another face presents below, where people's feet against ours go. Within the regions of the air, compassed about with heaven's fair, great tracts of land there may be found, enriched with fields and fertile ground, where many numerous hosts in those far distant coasts for other great and glorious ends inhabit my yet unknown friends. O ye that stand upon the brink, whom I so near me through the chink with wonder see, what face is there, whose feet, whose bodies do ye wear? I my companions see, in you another me. They seem at others, but are we. Our second selves these shadows be. Look how far off these lower skies extend themselves. Scarce with mine eyes I can them reach. O ye, my friends, what secret borders on those ends? Are lofty heavens hurled about your inferior world? are yet the representatives of other people's distant lives? Of all the playmates which I knew, that here I do the image view in other selves, what can it mean? But that below the purling stream some unknown joys there be laid up in store for me, to which I shall, when that thin skin is broken, be admitted in. <laughs>